do you remember this classic sliding puzzle game? So the numbers will be scrambled and the objective of this game is to put the scrambled pieces back in order like so. So we do that by sliding them to the correct positions without lifting any of the pieces. So do you want to learn how to solve it by just using two simple tactics? You can apply these tactics to any sizes of the sliding puzzle. So if this sounds cool to you, stay on and watch till the end of this video. Hey guys, my name is Ernie and you're watching our Happy Ernie channel. So welcome to our channel and thanks for watching our videos. So in this video, we'll go through some tactics so you can solve a sliding puzzle easily. For this video tutorial, we'll be using this 4x4 sliding puzzle set. You can either get one of this or one of those online sliding puzzle web games that you can find on the internet. Okay, let's begin. So first, let's divide the puzzle into two parts. We have the top part, which consists of all the rows until the last two rows. And the second part, which is the lower part, which will consist the last two rows. We will apply two different tactics, one for each of the parts. So now the puzzle has been scrambled and we will first solve the top part of the puzzle. So we'll start with putting 1 and 2 at the right location. So we can simply do it by sliding the number to the location, like so. Okay. So for 3 and 4, we're going to apply the first tactic. So we're going to put 4 here and three follow at the back, like so. And wherever four goes, three will move along. Yeah. So by doing so, you can slide them into the right position. So you do that for the next row, which is still at the top part, by putting five and six here. So you can do it by just sliding 5 and 6 in the right locations and for 7 and 8 you do the same tactics as what we have done earlier by putting 7 behind 8 like so and when you slide the tiles you can put 7 and 8 in the right location so for the second part of the puzzle you have to solve it um, by column so what I meant is you have to remember what are the two numbers here. So for instance, this is 8 and next will be 9, 10, 11, 12, 13. So you have to position 9 and 13 first and then 10 and 14. Alright? So in order to position 9 and 13, we have to put 9 after 13 like this and then move along and there you go. Alright? So we'll do next for 14 and 10. Like so. Alright. So for the last part, we have three remaining tiles. And this is very easy to solve. You just have to rotate the tiles. And they will end up in the right position. So with that, you have successfully solved the sliding puzzle. Try these tactics on a 3x3, 4x4, 5x5 or any sizes of a sliding puzzle and see if it works. So if this video is interesting to you, please like and share our video and subscribe to our channel. We have other cool videos in our channel like solving the 2x2 and 3x3 cubes. You can find these videos easily through our playlist or the link that I provided in the description of this video. Alright, we've come to the end of this video, so hope to see you on our next video.